From a dog akin to an Egyptian king, to a breed that looks like a panda bear, here are the world's most beautiful dog breeds. Number 12. Golden Retriever This gorgeous golden-haired pooch is sure to catch any dog lover's eye. Golden Retrievers are medium-sized and were originally bred for working, hunting, and showing. Lord Tweedmouth developed these dogs from the mid to late 1800s. He kept extremely detailed records throughout the breeding process with the goal of creating a perfect hunting dog that could help him at his estate in the Scottish Highlands. Due to the climate of the area, he needed the dog to be good with rocky terrain and rainy weather. Tweedmouth's mix of breeds included the now extinct Tweedwater Spaniel, Bloodhound, Irish Setter, and his then named Yellow Retriever. In 1908, the first Golden Retriever was presented at a dog show in Britain, and news of the beautiful new breed traveled quickly. These pups were sent to America where their hunting skills and good looks were highly appreciated. Since then, the Golden Retriever's popularity has grown tenfold. Especially after American citizens saw that President Gerald Ford had one, which he fittingly named Liberty. These stunning dogs grow up to 2 feet tall and weigh up to 65 pounds. They're also very sporty and friendly, which explains why they're incredibly popular among dog lovers. Plus, Golden Retrievers are easy to train compared to other breeds. Number 11. Samoyed this medium-sized fluffy dog makes the most beautiful dog breeds list because of its gorgeous white coat. The breed's name comes from a group of people that moved to Siberia a long, long time ago. These pooches were initially bred to work in severely cold climates. These people were known as the Samoyed, and they were wanderers who spent their lives in tents with their packs of dogs. The people and dogs relied heavily on each other for survival, so they formed strong bonds. I mean, they are a man's best friend, after all. Samoyeds serve as watchdogs, hunters, and transporters. They also herded reindeer, which was the Samoyed people's main source of food. It wasn't until the 18th century that these pups were introduced to England. In 1906, the American Kennel Club registered the breed. Although Samoyeds are trainable, they can be stubborn. However, they're quite friendly and aren't known to be aggressive. Plus, who couldn't love that cute, inquisitive face? These dogs grow up to 23 and a half inches tall and weigh up to 65 pounds. Because their coats are so thick and poofy, they need brushing about three times every week. Number 10. Pharaoh Hound These kingly dogs are a medium size, ranging from 20 to 25 inches tall and weighing as much as 55 pounds. Their long necks, legs, ears, and tails make it easy to guess why they're known as pharaohs. The Phoenician people are credited with spreading the breed throughout the world over 2,000 years ago, and these pups made it all the way to Britain. The Pharaoh Hound is even Malta's national breed. Since they were once rabbit hunters, it doesn't come as a surprise that these dogs are very energetic. So they need a lot of exercise. The recommended time to walk these dogs is for a minimum of 20 minutes twice every day. However, they need to be kept on a leash because they're hunters at their cores. Pharaohs are reserved around people they don't know, and they're fairly independent, which can make training a bit challenging. But if you have the time and energy, then this stunning breed is worth it. Number 9. Dalmatian Just about everybody loves the Dalmatian's signature black and white spotted coat, thanks to Disney's 101 Dalmatians. These pups turn heads everywhere they go since they stand out from the crowd. The strange thing is, nobody is quite sure how this breed came to be. Various studies suggest they could have come from Asia, Europe, North Africa, or the British Isles. All we know for certain is that they are widely recognized off the coast of the Adriatic Sea in a place formerly called Dalmatia. These dogs weren't bred for hunting or herding like others either. Their American Kennel Club job description is coach dog. They used to run alongside carriages and guard the horses at night when their human gypsy counterparts were traveling. Dalmatians also have fun nicknames, courtesy of the British. A couple of them include Plum Pudding Dog and Spotted Dick, as in the tasty sponge cake made with dried fruit and served with custard. Dalmatians grow about 2 feet high and weigh up to 70 pounds. Nowadays, you can see them trotting alongside the Budweiser Clydesdales during parades. Number 8. Chow Chow Chows are one of the world's oldest dog breeds. They used to accompany Chinese noblemen. Apparently, even a Tang Dynasty emperor had about 5,000 of these fluffy dogs living in a permanent facility where his workers tended to the dogs daily. 
However, chows also served as haulers and guardians, which might not surprise you considering they can weigh as much as 70 pounds and grow up to 20 inches tall. These pooches weren't introduced successfully into Western culture until Queen Victoria owned one herself. These pups can be very difficult to train and they're not the friendliest of breeds when they don't know someone. But with proper care, they make wonderful companions. One type of chow looks almost exactly like a panda bear and is appropriately named the panda chow. However, despite what you may think about interbreeding a panda bear and a chow chow, doing so remains impossible. So how do they acquire this signature look? Their fur is dyed by the pet shop owners in southwestern China. People are even quicker to snatch these puppies up when they look like panda bears. Number 7. Australian Shepherd These 21 to 23-inch high dogs can weigh up to 65 pounds full-grown. They're adorable and fluffy as puppies, and their thick fur becomes even more beautiful when they reach adulthood. They can be red or blue merle, meaning they have spotted patterns of gray, red, black, and white fur or mixtures of numerous colors. Australian Shepherds were originally bred as herding dogs from Pyrenean Shepherds near the Pyrenees Mountains. So opposed to their name, these dogs aren't actually Australian. In fact, the title was created when Californian ranchers mistakenly believed the pooches came from Australia. These pups were also eventually crossed with Border Collies and Collies which probably has a lot to do with their gorgeous coats. Aussies are seen all over the world and often serve as rodeo performers in the Western United States. However, they are also wonderful search and rescue dogs, substance detectors, and therapy dogs. Number 6. Bernese Mountain Dog These giant pups grow over 2 feet tall and weigh as much as 115 pounds, and their statuesque features make them one of the world's most beautiful breeds. They originated in Bern, Switzerland, where they were used as guardians, cattle directors, and companions. Plus, Bernese mountain dogs can pull extremely heavy loads, making them magnificent workers. However, these pooches nearly went extinct in the 1800s, but Swiss dog lovers wouldn't allow that to happen. Professor Albert Heim created a club for Swiss dog breeds in 1907, and his efforts made the Bernese mountain dogs popular again. These pups didn't come to the United States until 1926 when a farmer in Kansas decided to import two of them for help around his property. The AKC recognized this breed in 1937. Number 5. Irish Setter These red-haired beauties got their start in, you guessed it, Ireland. The country's huntsmen needed dogs capable of swiftness that could cover large areas of flat ground easily. Irish setters earned their reputation via hunting birds. However, their beauty gained them a lot of attention at dog shows. These pups also make fabulous pets. They're fairly agreeable and extremely friendly. They require a bit of extra grooming compared to other dogs but still only need to be brushed about three times per week. Irish setters also need a significant amount of exercise, which isn't surprising considering their history. Number 4. Pomeranian there isn't a person in the world that can get past a Pomeranian's good looks. These little poofballs can steal anyone's heart in a matter of seconds, and they have been for centuries. One well-known lady that owned one of these tiny pups was Queen Victoria. A Pomeranian caught her eye while she was in Florence, Italy, and she traveled back to Britain with a couple of the fuzzy dogs. She eventually began breeding the Pomeranians herself, and presented six of her dogs in the Crufts Dog Show in 1891. Windsor Marco, one of her royally named palms, won the first place prize. Queen Victoria was also given credit for shrinking the Pomeranians down to their current size, whereas the original dogs weighed about 30 pounds full grown. Nowadays, Pomeranians only grow up to 7 inches tall and weigh about 7 pounds. As far as temperament goes, these little guys can be a little wary of strangers, but all in all, they're friendly. They can be slightly difficult to train, but they're playful and ready to learn. Number 3. Icelandic Sheepdog The next beautiful dog breed on our list is the Icelandic Sheepdog. This pooch grows up to 18 inches tall and weighs as much as 30 pounds. Their history stems back about 1,100 years when Norwegian settlers brought the dogs to Iceland. Their original purpose was to herd sheep, hence the name. Icelandic Sheepdogs are in the Spitz class and have fox-like faces, pointy ears, thick coats, and fluffy curled tails. These pups are quite friendly and easily trainable. Plus, they don't require much grooming besides brushing on a weekly basis. 
Number 2. Akita This large dog is a major part of Japanese history. They were developed in the country during the 17th century. Apparently, Akitas came to be when the Japanese emperor banished a nobleman to the island of Honshu to rule the area. Since this man loved dogs, he encouraged selective breeding to produce a dog that was capable of hunting yezo bears, wild boar, deer, and other big game in packs. However, nowadays, these dogs serve as companions and wonderful guard dogs. One of these incredibly loyal dogs was named Hachiko. You can see this pup's both heartwarming and saddening story in the 2009 film Hachi A Dog's Tale, which is based on the real-life pooch. But Akitas have become a symbol of happiness in Japan. Parents of a newborn child are often gifted an Akita figurine as a tradition as well. Number 1. Siberian Husky This dog makes number one on our list because of its gorgeous thick coat and wolf-like appearance. These dogs were initially bred to be companions to their human counterparts and for pulling sleds. The Chukchi people of Siberia in northeast Russia were forced to expand their hunting area when the climate changed, so they bred sled dogs that could transport light cargo over long ranges in severely cold temperatures. The product of selective breeding was a dog extremely similar to the Siberian Huskies we have nowadays. But it wasn't until the early 1900s that these pups began turning heads after winning sled races. They gained worldwide fame in 1925 when they pulled a musher named Leonard Seppala 658 miles to Nome, Alaska to deliver a life-saving medication for diphtheria. These pooches make wonderful friends, but they need a significant amount of daily exercise, or they might become restless and tear apart your couch. They can be difficult to train because huskies are stubborn, but they are generally very friendly with people and other dogs. They grow up to 23 and a half inches tall and weigh up to 60 pounds. Which dog breed do you find the most beautiful? Let us know in the comments section below.